<clears throat> All right. Hey, ladies. Happy fifth day of our video series. Sorry you were getting this video late today, but <clears throat> not sure if I mentioned it, but I had an issue with my jaw and I've been on um, some medication and it's made me very tired today and a little groggy. So I'm sorry that I couldn't come on here sooner. I uh, haven't had the energy um, and I've been very, very tired all day long. So I haven't been able to come on here. So anyway, I'm better now, I'm getting my energy back. Um, so we are on day five and I hope that some of the work and some, some of the videos and the topics and what we were talking about has resonated with you and you have decided to take action and you've decided to take action within these five days or you keep sitting and thinking about Shanta's right, Shanta's right, Shanta's right and still no action. Where do you fall? Okay, I want some self accountability today. I want you all to regroup with yourself and go deep and see what's holding you back from moving forward on your goals, your dream project, your passion project, or your side hustle you always talked about doing, right? It's, it's time to stop talking about it and start being about it. That's why you're here. That's why you decide to join the Mission Mastermind. That's why you listen to me. I mean, you, you, all of you are go-getting women that want more for your life and you want to move forward and you want to take action. You, sometimes it just seems too overwhelming and you don't know where to start and you don't know how to ask for the help. You know where to get the help and you don't know how to get it done. Okay. And I know I've been there. So trust and believe that um, I started this group. I started my coaching program just for that because I was you before and I was tired of spinning my wheels doing things over and over again and not getting it done having all this big vision ideas never moving forward until I got my coach and I started investing in myself thank God I did thank God I took that big leap to do that um, but for the people that aren't doing that, I wanted to provide some tools and resources for you to move forward. Okay, so we are on day five, and day five is talking about how to um, keep going when we feel like we want to give up. How do we stay focused? How do we, you know, not, you know, give up once we don't see the results right away? And to trust the process, uh, because trusting the process is part of it. If you don't trust the process and you give up way too easy, who knows how successful your business could have been if you would have just kept on it for a little while longer and tweaked it and seen what worked, seen what worked, didn't work, and fix those problems, regrouped, and kept going. The problem is that a lot of people start something and because they don't see the quick, fast results, they give up way too soon. So this is what I want you to do. Number one is trust the process. Sometimes people, businesses, their side hustles, passion projects don't blow up for a whole year, okay? You're not going to see profits for a whole year sometimes. And that seems frustrating. And that's why you always have to have a backup plan. And you have to have some other income coming in in order to support your dreams, okay? You have to have that foundation in order to move things forward. You can't just throw all your eggs in a basket and hopefully they, you know, something's going to happen. You can't do that. You have to stay focused, okay? And understand that you have to have that cushion in order to move things in the right direction. So trust the process. First thing is to uh, put on your calendar, okay? Every day that you're going to work on your passion project, your whatever, whatever you know, side hustle business, 30 minutes a day, okay? And, and I'm telling you this for the people that tell me they have no time because we all have time. If we, you know, we wanted to, we make our own time. So if you're the person that's saying, I don't have enough time, either you're getting up a little earlier in the day or you're going to bed a little later and giving yourself 30 minutes to put on your calendar where you'll get an alert on your phone or whatever to remind you to work on your passion project, to work on your side hustle, whatever that thing is, you're dedicating the time to get it done. Okay, that's number one. Number two, remembering your why. What is your why? Why are you doing this? Why do you want more for yourself? Why? Are you tired of everybody else getting the credit for your brilliant ideas? Are you tired of working for somebody else? And you know you're smart enough to run your own business, you're smart enough to have your own concept and your own strategy? 
Are you tired of seeing things, you know, in the community that's bothering you and you want to do something about it? You can. Nothing's stopping you. So remembering your why. Are you doing it for that? Are you doing it for your children? Are you doing it for yourself? Which is most important. Are you doing it so you can live more comfortably? Are you doing it so you can be proud of yourself and say, I came up with this business or this idea or this project. This is all me and not me running on the coattails of somebody else. Okay, so first we have setting time aside every day. The second is remembering your why. The third is getting an accountability partner. Somebody who is on the same track as you, somebody who wants to do the same thing as you, you guys work together and be partners. You guys could develop partners in the mission mastermind. Come on, ladies. There's no excuse. Absolutely, absolutely none. If you're ambitious and you have bigger dreams and you're not doing anything about it, then whose fault is it? It's yours. Nobody else's. You can't blame this person and that person. They don't let me do this. I don't have enough time because I got to do all this. No. If you want it that bad, you make the time. It's nobody else's problem and it's nobody else's fault that you haven't finished whatever you're trying to complete other than yours. So it's time to put our big girl panties on and make it happen, okay? Get an accountability partner. And did I have a fourth? Mm -hmm. Get in a group like this. This is, you know, a good group to be a part of to hold you accountable. You could post on here and say, hey, ladies, I need help to get focused on an accountability partner. I'm sure there's somebody on here that will be happy to join you as your accountability partner, okay? So join groups that have other ambitious women, individuals that are doing something similar, okay, that can keep you going. All right, ladies, this is day five. This concluded con the conclusion of our five-day video series. I hope you learned something. I hope you take action, and I hope you stop making excuses because this group is a no-excuse zone. All right, ladies, you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.